Hey everybody, I'm Not Great, and welcome to our first episode of Blasphemous 2. Now before we get started, um, this game is, is a little bit different from others that we've played, in that there's going to be some, some stuff that not everybody may agree with. It's going to be bloody as hell, for one thing. Um, there could be some, some small amount of probably not sexual nudity in it. Um, and there's also going to be a lot of religious iconography um, that's, that's vaguely related to, to Christianity or Christian themes. So if that's not something that floats your boat, you know, I'm, I, I'll understand if, if, if that's not your thing. Um, it's totally my thing, though, so let's jump right the hell in. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah. Uh, new game, cool. I, I did a little bit of sound level testing before this. Luckily, it didn't save, so, uh, let it play. In the heart, everything takes root solitarily. Footprints without companions are left behind like in water or in the ocean's depths. Miguel Hernandez. Goddamn cursor. The eternal dawn of our penances heralds its imminent end. Each was born to put an end to the other. Now both await, but while yours slumbers, mine remains vigilant. May the miracle bear witness to this oath. By which I remain here for our long-awaited meeting. Wounded by the silence of this secluded and then, as the city of the Blessed Name rose up, borne on the shoulders of three mighty statues, the resounding beat of a great heart could be heard emanating from the clouds, thundering like the knell of an unseen church bell raised higher than any other, enchanting us all to lift our gaze aloft in an ascetic call to prayer. For the miracle was about to give birth to a child. That's us. That's me. That's us. <coughs> yeah. That. All right. So, triangle is our heel, or Y if you're on an Xbox controller. Uh, our heels are bile flasks, and we can restore them at save points, also known as pre-do. And here we get to choose our weapons. Now, there's a heavy weapon. We also have a dash and a right trigger. Heavy weapon is really simple. There's a fast weapon. Weak but quick. And there's our quality weapon. I 
also comes with the down thrust. So that's neat. Um, I'm gonna go with the regular quality sword. The mix of damage and speed, but also you get cool things like that. Thou hast chosen thy companion on this pilgrimage. Only the miracle knows when thou shalt meet again in the presence of her two sisters. Confirm. So bright. Alright, so the first thing to do in any Metroidvania is go back before you go forwards. But there's nothing here. Alright. Except a bunch of stone people coming up out of the ground. Here we go. A is our jump. Repose of the Silent One. That'll be someplace that we go later. Here's our map. Um, can we lay a marker? Yeah, but do we need to? Probably should. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. It's fine. Okay, cool. Um, what shall we use for traversal? Let's use a question mark for now. I mean, we're probably going to get a double jump at some point. Right stick lets us shift the camera down. There we go. And here's our first pre -do. First altar. pre -do. Resting before a pre will restore your health and flasks. It is the only way to save your progress. Upon dying, you will reappear at the last pre you visited, and all the progress you have made since that point will be lost. Kneel before one whenever you can. Sure. <sighs> it will not let us drop a thing. Okay, cool. At least we don't have to unlock the icon. Oh shit. Ow. Damn. All right. Oh, fuck you. Damn. Okay. Okay, cannot dash through attacks. Got it. Come on. One more hit. There we go. Requiem Eternum. D 
Defeat the faceless one. Chisel of Oblivion. You have earned one marks of martyrdom. Cool. Let's go ahead and heal and go. All right, so I've got a. Uh, I need a better controller. Keep on like defaulting to ups. And that's gonna fuck me up unless I get used to it. Boss is dust. Penitent one. Returned from the tomb, and walking among the mourners, your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Anunthiada is my name, and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Neat. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, Hailing from the highest of all seats. And she came with her own hand. Handmaiden? Sure. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. Cool. But on this ascending path of penitence, the Arch Confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. I guess they weren't penitent enough. Orozpina, the Confraternity of Embroiderers. Benedicta, of the Confraternity of Endless Orison. Odon. Of the Confraternity of Salt. Lesmes of the Confraternity of Incorruptible Flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent. The first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. Penitent One. The miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Three regrets, okay. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city, allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches and finally to the great heart. Look for the guardians. Well, thanks for that. Oh, I guess that's one up there. There we are. That is well and truly far away. Okay. If anything... Oh, well, okay. Could have asked her something, but I guess not. Ravine of the High Stones. Cool. <coughs> Rugoal Alba. Rugoal Alba is the most balanced weapon in your arsenal. Behind its coarse serrated blades lies a versatile weapon, able to combine powerful attacks without giving the enemy a moment's respite. A blood pact will allow the enemy's wounds to heal the wounds of whoever wields it. Alright. Weight of sin. In the air, press down, and parry is right bumper. Okay. Sweet. Not nearly as gruesome as the first game. The parries are very important in this game. Damn it. 
Come on. Hang on. Gotta learn to parry. Cool. Well, we blew all of our healing, but we're getting the hang of it. Ow. There we go. We cannot wall climb yet, or wall jump. That's fine. What is this? We have acquired Petenaris. Let's see. Prayers and fervors. Uh, attacking and executing enemies fills your fervor bar, which enables you to perform varied and powerful prayers. You can equip them in your inventory. Versus, press B to recite a quick prayer. Chance, combine down and B to invoke a powerful prayer. All right. There we go. Cool, we don't have to get fancy with it. Sweet. All right, so which is... Okay, so I can't just do a regular prayer. Got it. Let's see what's over to the left first. Uh, left trigger. Cool. I have acquired 800 tiers of atonement. Sweet. And then these things. So we need to put another traversal marker here. I recognize those from the first game. You're made of flesh. I should be able to... Okay, fine. What if we do our thing? Nothing? Oh, fine. Luckily, the parry window is not super narrow in this game. Hey, we found a baby. Still have no healing, so. Yeah, suck it. You don't scare me. I've been through the path of pain. City of the Blessed Name. All right. Uh, you guys want to tell me anything? No? Okay. Okay, can't do anything there. Nothing there, all right. Save point, good. I want that, but I can't get it yet. Maybe I can, let's find out. Nope, ah, went the wrong way. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot. Welcome to my most humble of workshops, which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnez is my name, master sculptor. One of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. 
No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes. Yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth in some way? The miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the most blessed lady as my last work of art. Penitent one, I beg you help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes. And I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. Cool. Acquired the traitor. Well, fuck you. It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. All right, here we go. Visit the Sculptor's Workshop whenever you want to equip figures in your altarpiece of favors. Each figure confers powerful benefits onto the penitent one and can react in mysterious ways when placed next to others in the altarpiece. You can increase the number of slots in your altarpiece of favors in exchange for marks of martyrdom. Uh, increase capacity? Sure. Yeah, why not? The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. Thank you. Uh, open up the altar. There we go. Increases physical damage inflicted? Hell yeah! And we don't have anything else, so that's fine. Uh, cool. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. This is super quiet. All right. All right. So we're not going up there yet. Check out this door. Hello there. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession, crime and judgment, conceals naught but shadows. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth the tears for me and forgiveness for those of you who seeketh it. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confession, let me purge the guilt you bear, and thus alleviate your burden. Penitent one, return when the guilt scorches your brow. Don't know what that means, but okay. I will free you from your burden, for that is my purpose. Neat. Um, okay, so... Boop, 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 boop. Uh, game options, audio. Okay, we're going to turn the music down one, SFX down one, and main down one. Oh wait, main stays there. That's fine. Um, there we go. 
Uh, video, full screen, scale mode, yes, V-Sync, sure. Uh, game, text language, English, audio language, English, damage feedback, bar. Numbers, disabled. Uh, bar. Cool. And then I'll bump the audio a little bit after this episode so that, I don't know, everything doesn't suck. Because the voice actors are super quiet. Let's see. Press the, that button to open the map. Remember to place markers whenever you find something interesting. I have already done that. Thank you very much. things. Bloop. Can I parry that? Okay, can't do anything up there yet, so that's fine. Shit, okay. Get wrecked. So I can parry it, but it's a tighter parry. As opposed to a Tyler. <coughs> Good, I should have choked on that joke. Ugh. I did not deserve to make that joke. Oh, bullshit. in this game are pretty tight. So that's nice. There's not a lot of, like, wind-up to the parries. Damn it! Ah! I was going for the... Oh, there's an execution thing. Well, we know what we have to do now. Accumulation of guilt. Upon dying, a guilt fragment remains anchored to the world. The level of guilt rises, reducing the gain of fervor and your defense, but increasing tears of atonement and martyrdom points gained. Neat. Hmm. Uh, collect guilt fragments to partially recover or find someone who can ease your burden. Got it. Yep. Understood. So let's go down and uh, retrieve our guilt. Or alleviate our guilt or something. Okay, it's because it's coming from up top. from above us. I think that's what the problem is, so. There we go. For 
freaking wall people. Hang on. Really need to explain to my bosses what on the clock means. Okay, yeah, I want to do that that finisher. Oh, fine. <laughs> Dude, just it's a step further and you would have had it. it you would have been fine. All right, there's my guilt. Come on. I don't want to deal with both of you at once. Not yet. There we go. Execution. Some attacks can leave your enemy stunned. When this happens, press left trigger to execute stunned enemies. Defeating an enemy in this way grants you a fervor, tears of atonement, and martyrdom points bonus. Yay, we're not guilty of anything anymore. Can't go this way. Cool. Oh, fuck you. over here. Aha! Aha! Don't know what that is. But we cannot leave a marker either. So there's that. It's fine. Try to the right first. Hi there. Oh, fuck you. Haha, -ha, marks of martyrdom. Attacking and executing enemies allows you to earn marks of martyrdom. Uh, which can be used to upgrade certain characteristics of the Penitent One. You can earn marks of martyrdom by fighting and exploring the map. Cool. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Whose face and name you keep hidden? No. Your name is of no consequence if your footsteps have led you to me. Yerma is mine own but this is not the right moment for the steps that my promise inspires are swift and the will that directs them unshakable this hatred which blinds my reason with shadows i must leave at once i acquired steely battle lance cool now have access to the weapon memory section in your inventory. Use marks of martyrdom to acquire advanced combat techniques. Track down the bearer penitents to unlock techniques that are even more powerful. Cool, how do I do that? Steely Battle Lance. Uh, the tip of an object of worship. Uh, let's see. Its strength resides in the arsenal of penitents in which it can be awakened. Okay, cool. No idea what that does. I'm sure it'll tell us at some point. You fucker. Okay, fine.
Ivy of Ascension. Sweet. Some surfaces can be used to climb. Hold down the right trigger to cling onto these surfaces and not slip. Nice. Can I... It's fine. Acquired Scratched Lead Sphere. Equip rosary beads in your inventory to upgrade characteristics of the Penitent One. Find additional knots to increase the number of beads you can equip. Sweet. Slightly increases resistance to all physical damage. I'll take that. Okay. Jerk. Alright, let's go back and save. And heal. And good, we have door markers. Awesome, perfect, lovely. What are we at? 36 minutes? We got... This is the first episode. We're not done yet. Oh, hi there. Sleep, my child. Sleep. Um... Uh, don't know what this is marked as, but okay. You know what? Let's actually... Let's take that marker off. Let's mark it as... Blue thing. Which way have we gone? Let's try. Oh, yeah, to the left. Damn it. I'm hitting left, but the controller keeps thinking I'm hitting up. I'll get right. So far, no breakable walls. Hey. 
elevator? Oh, hi there. Required Mirabras of the Return Pot. What is... Uh, takes the Penitent One back to the City of the Blessed Name. That's pretty sweet. Okay, this is a chant. Quick verses are over there, but we don't have any yet. Got it. Uh, let's keep exploring before we take the elevator. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's on me. Required Sculptor's Resonant gra uh, Gavel. Get fucked. What is that? Oh, shit. Empty receptacle. Uh, what does that do? Uh, glass vessel able to contain the blood flowing from the crimson flesh touched by the miracle. Used to increase the number of bile flasks. Hell yeah! So in the first game... There was... Oh, okay. Neat. Go ahead and rest. That's fine. In the first game, as you leveled things up, you had to choose between... Oh, missed. Getting more flasks or getting, like, increasing the strength of your flasks. Where am I? Sea of Ink. Okay. Required Forgotten Tribute. There it is. A coin that was used for many years as payment for the processions that traversed the roads at nighttime. These processions gradually died out, so finding a coin like this is a rare occurrence. Can I just... Screw it. Ow. Understood. Nothing there yet. Got it. Alright, uh, where else can I explore over here? To the right of that one spot. Alright. Don't have an up attack, and that's killing me. Yeah, I know I gotta get used to it, but it's still driving me bonkers. All right, where is our friend the... Okay, to the right. What you gonna give me for this junk? This junk I found. Say, how can I assist the penitent one? On the ground. And over tool. Given the sculptor's resonant gavel. This mallet is so wonderfully balanced in the hand that it feels quite effortless to move. Know that you have my gratitude, Penitent One. All right, uh, let's see. Open the altarpiece of favors. Do we have anything new? Nope. May the hands of- Yeah, 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 hands of the miracle, blah, blah, blah. You're supposed to give me stuff, man. Okay, so... Alright, we will head to the right. So I don't think we have what we need to backtrack yet. Though I do kind of want to go back down and see if we can't... I don't think we can get across that yet. 
honestly. way to collecting angels. So there's that. The boss is dust. Uh, what are you, left trigger? Doth the, doth the wish to make the sacrifice. Sure. Open up the skin and red flesh. Uncover the lie that my shell conceals, for I am only blood and bones. So allow the chalices to be filled with those who toast kings and priests. Want to give empty receptacles? Sure. Now I shall grant thee a new flask. Thank you. Number of vile flasks has increased. Bring me more vials. Okay. Don't know what the blood is for, but... I'll go ahead and heal what I lost. So that was neat. <laughs> that was a thing that just happened. Okay, so you don't have to grip the wall to, like, jump off of it. Good to know. Something I just learned. Hi there. Oh, blessed are we, for I behold a penitent. Yes, you do. Humbly allow us to present ourselves to your reverence. We are Medardo and Escolastico, pilgrim merchants and scribes by trade. Oh, it's a big guy carrying an old guy, okay. You never know where precious assets may be. What, pray, can be unjust or malevolent in walking the roads in pursuit of a twofold profit? That of the pocket by selling, and that of the spirit by prayer. While Medardo pays penance in his meditative meanderings, I take care of the business side of things, sparing not a drop of ink to write about the beautiful landscapes of the many varied paths we travel. But go ahead and cast your eyes upon our shop window. The objects that were lost on voyages have great appeal and fascination as they have become a reminder of the feat itself. Cast your eyes upon our shop window. Okay. Uh, I can only afford one of these. Increases the chance of critical hits when using prayers, or creates a bolt of electricity that inflicts lightning damage. We'll go for that. That sounds like a quick prayer. Until our paths... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, so that's our chant. Sweet. Need to... Is that gonna, like, be what starts those up, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. Here we go. Redo. Uh, but when do we get to Altarpiece of Favors? Okay, quest items, rosary beads. Yep. Still don't know what that does. Is it like... Okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Relics of Contrition. 
Oh, holy crap, I can use the D-pad. Oh, sweet. Alright, well now that I've learned that, let's, uh... There we go. Yeah, I like the D-pad. What are you? Oh, you opened the door, okay. How long does it last? Not terribly long. Uh, let's take out these guys. Can we actually go down? Yeah, we can, all right, cool. Got it. Sweet. Oh, there's, uh, there's even more sewers. But then there's the door. And we can just jump back up there anytime we want. Um, let's see what's up with these sewers. I'm curious. time? Fight time. Oh shit, please man. Thousand Tears of Atonement. Sweet. And we wasted a whole bunch of healing. That's also sweet. There we go. There we go. Alright, I'm thinking... I'll try one more room. See if we die. And the murder animations are not as grand as they used to be. They used to be an individualized, like finisher for every type of enemy. Not so much anymore. Still really enjoying it, though. Okay, once you... Okay, we broke the statue. That's fine. Alright, so to the Purdue. We'll heal up, we'll call this our first episode. Actually, fuck that. We're gonna go and spend some of our um, tears. Before, there we go, he's still there. Sweet. 
Blessed are we. Feast Blessed are we, I. feast your eyes, yeah. We have no more items left. But you'll never know what may turn up on these paths. Pray, come back later, penitent one. All right, let's go over to our thing. Oh, I can't do any... Okay, we need to... Hang on. We are going to figure out what this new statue does and equip it. take me to figure out that once I go in I have to go left take your bets the wood, I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins anyways Chance of critical hits when using prayers. All right, cool. Hey, it's a thing. May the hands of the middle. Hands of the miracle. Yep, hands of the miracle. Screw it. We'll just go to this Purdue. All right. So we're going to call it an episode there. I'm going to try and remember to use the D-pad moving forward. Um. Maybe once we have a double jump, we'll be able to get through this thing over here. Yeah, right down there, I think it was. Um, I should probably mark that <laughs> as well. Uh, let's see. There we go. So this. There we are. Um, but yeah, we'll keep moving forward. We got a long way to go in a lot of different directions. So plenty of stuff to do. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, make sure you're staying safe and healthy out there. I do hope you have a good one.